Hi everybody, it's Anne Emery with another Excel tutorial specifically for evaluators. I tried making the last video in 60 seconds. That was a little bit ambitious, so we're going to aim for 90 seconds this time. The second video is about the min and max formulas. So here's our data set. It's pre and post test data from a job training program for youth. They were rated on their attendance, punctuality, workplace appearance, etc. before and after the program. And we have their pre-test scores in one column and their post-test scores in another. And you can see this data set has 182 youth in it. If you watched the first video, then you already know about the count, count blank, and sum formulas. Min and max are very easy. You just type in equals min, select the data that you want, close the parentheses, press enter, max, pretty much the same thing, equals max, select the data that you want right here, close the parentheses, press enter, and to save us some time, we are going to select both of these cells that already have our beautiful formulas in them, look for the little square in the bottom right hand corner, drag it across, and there we've got the data for the whole thing. You can see that in most cases the scores range from a 1, the lowest score, to a 4, the highest score, although in some areas it was uh, ranged from 2 to 4, and our total scores ranged from an 18 to 40 on the pretest and a 15 to 40 on the post-test, so there are actually a few youth who went down and got lower ratings after the program. Um, so there you have it. That is the min and max formula. Thank you.